Hey everyone, Justice Good here, back with another tutorial Tuesday. Well, it's Friday right now, but I'm going to upload this on Tuesday. I'm going to try to upload a tutorial every Tuesday starting now. Sometimes I'll get a little busy with school or work, so I miss a week. But just go ahead and subscribe. The more you like, share, and comment, the more motivation I have to make these videos every week. So I'm going to get right into it. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blend two images together, kind of like a cross dissolve, or how to fade the two images together. It's a pretty simple tutorial, and uh, there's different ways to do it, but hopefully you learn something along the way. So I have my two images opened up here, and of course they're different sizes and everything like that, so first I'm just going to drag one of the images onto the other. So I have both of the images on one project, uh, two layers on top of each other. And then you want to position it and resize it as you like. So I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale, since uh, this one's bigger than the, the picture of the hands. It's going to bring up this Transform box and I'm going to grab one of the corners, hold Shift, and drag it in. Holding shift makes sure everything's proportionate. If you don't hold shift, then uh, you could you could uh, mess up the proportions, and we don't want to do that for this one. So once I cover the entire canvas here, I'm going to press enter so I can place my image. Then once you have it placed, you want to select that layer and go to layer, layer mask, and create a new reveal all layer mask. Here's where we can choose what parts of the image to show or hide. So anything that we paint black onto this layer mask will disappear. So now we can take our gradient tool and select the default black and white gradient. If you don't see that, hit the drop down cog wheel, hit reset gradients, select OK, and it should be the first one on there. Or it, actually, it's it's uh, your foreground and background colors. So if you select these two squares here, it'll bring them back to the default black and white and then this gradient should be black and white and then you want to click and again hold shift and it'll make it a perfectly straight line and then drag so oh, I'm going to go the other way so as you can see you can do a, a thin fade by not stretching the gradient as much or you could do a very very far fade, or like a very blended fade. So if you see the gradient here, everything that's black doesn't show up, and then everything underneath it shows. So what you achieve in the end is a faded image of whatever two pictures you want to blend together. And you can do this with more than two pictures. Um, you could get really creative with this. This is a very basic tutorial, and hopefully you learn something. Of course, there's always more than one way to do things in Photoshop. I always get someone commenting saying that they have a much better way to do it. But this is just one way to do one type of fade in Photoshop. You can even play with the blending modes after that. Um, create some type of whatever image you're trying to achieve. Or you could play with the opacity. And really, there, the possibilities are endless. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or send me a message or email me at justthisgood at gmail.com. Uh, one funny comment I get a lot is that I sound like Walt Jr. from the show Breaking Bad. And I guess I kind of see the similarity there. But uh, most of the time I'm pausing for words because I'm actually doing the tutorial live as I'm speaking along with it in Photoshop. So it's hard to do both at once. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.